Pro Presenter 7 allows you to control as many physically connected screens either through graphics cards or SDI cards and network screens as your computer can handle. And you can set all of these up in advance using placeholders. When you first launch ProPresenter, you'll be guided through a process that will allow you to configure your screens. You'll be able to select the output device for the audience and stage screen. However, you can do this at any time by going to Screens and Configure Screens. In the screen configuration, we can set up both audience and stage screens. Audience screens are seen by people in the room, and stage screens are used for people on stage or working behind the scenes, and we can have multiple audience and stage screens. To adjust our audience screens, we can select a screen. At the top, we can actually rename our screen, so let's name this main output so it's less confusing. We can see that this is 1920 by 1080, and you can see the global screen color that you can set here. Below, you'll see the properties for that screen. Currently, the output is set to one of our physically connected displays. Now, I have, in addition to my main operator screen, I have three additional physical displays hooked up to this computer. But we could also add NDI sources. If you're not familiar with NDI, it's a way to send video across your network. You have Siphon, which allows you to take video and send it to other programs on your same local computer, or you can set up new placeholders. Now, placeholders are really great because they allow you to set up your screens before you've actually hooked up to those physical screens. You'll also see that we have options for color and corner pinning. And in the hardware settings, you'll see that there is an output target. So let's say that we have a projector that projects 16 by 10, but we only want to show it on a 16 by 9 screen. We could change it from full to custom. And in here, we could adjust the output width and height to be just our 16 by 9 ratio instead of a 16 by 10. That's a really handy way to adjust something like that. Now currently our screen is set to single, but we also have options for mirrored screens. Mirrored allows us to send the exact same output to multiple destinations. So right now we have our Dell local screen here, but we could click on unconfigured and now we can choose a new output. And we can either choose one of our physically connected screens, or like I talked about earlier, let's set up an NDI screen. All we have to do is choose which frame size and frame rate we want for this NDI output. So I'm going to choose 1080i 5994 that maybe my video switcher could use. You'll also notice that when you use an NDI source that you get an option for alpha key that you can enable for NDI. Now if you want to add more mirrored outputs, all you have to do is go and change the amount of output outputs right here. Our next option is to do group screens where you can use multiple outputs to create one large screen. This is commonly used for video walls or creating an ultra wide screen. So right now this would be kind of a dual wide screen. We could go in here and change it to three columns and now we have like a triple wide setup or maybe we want to do a video wall and so we could do like a video wall like this. And again, you can just select a screen to choose what output you want to use for that portion of this group screen. The last option that we have is for edge blending and here you'll notice that we now have our three screens but you'll also notice a new blend area where you can actually adjust the blend between these different screens. I'm going to set this back to single and now let's add in a new audience screen. So now we're going to add in a new screen. I'm going to choose a screen that I haven't used yet and we're going to rename this screen lobby. And then let's add in one more screen and this is going to be an NDI screen and we're going to call this one live lyrics. So now ProPresenter has three different audience screens and using the new looks features and the new announcement layer, we can actually send different content and different looks to those different screens. To learn how to set up those features, make sure to check out the in-depth videos on the announcements layer and looks. Finally, we can go down to stage and we can add in multiple stage displays. And just like our audience screens, our stage display can be any 
physically connected screens, or they can be NDI or siphon outputs, and we can have multiple. You can also view stage screen layouts from the Stage app for iOS and Android. Now we can easily add another stage screen by hitting Add, and for this one, I'll just use a placeholder. And there's additional tutorials about stage screens, as well as tutorials about image splitters like dual head and triple head to goes, and one about edge blending, and you can find all of those at renewedvision.com slash pro tutorials.